Yo! If you're from where I'm from, there's a little story that's likely caught your attention. Over the last few weeks, there's been a string of extortion attempts against Punjabi businesses in the area. It became kind of a running joke that if you had a G-Wagon park in your driveway, well then you could expect a call from some goons asking if they could hold a dollar. Don't comply? Then expect a knock or, well, a few gunshots at your door to prove that they mean business. Even local leaders and politicians weren't spared, prompting the mayor to make this statement. Fide, paint a picture for us if you can. What's been going on? Well, it started in November and it was terrifying what we saw targeting the South Asian community in the lower mainland of British Columbia, Edmonton, um, in Peel region, and now in the U.S. It was where South Asian business owners were being called by WhatsApp with an extortion attempt. And if they refused the extortion attempt, their home or business would be shot up or there'd be an act of arson. And so, you know, I had residents terrified. You know, this is something you'd see in the movies. You don't expect to see that happen in Canada. Um, and the Peel police uh, took this very seriously. We've been working with law enforcement agencies across the, the country and at a national level. And they had the first major arrests that were announced this morning. Uh, Unfortunately for these rapscallions, police were able to track down and arrest a few men suspected of being involved. Now admittedly, many of these men were Punjabi, and while it's not something the community is particularly proud of, they're now in front of the courts. But there was one charge made the other day which, while presumably not linked with the last set of arrests, really made Punjabis go, hmm, something here doesn't feel right. Here my friends is the case of one Hatesh Bansal. Bansal? Ah, I'm sorry. Now, if you're not Punjabi or a Sikh or from around here, I don't blame you for not seeing what the big deal here is. But Hatesh is a predominantly Hindu name. But the picture here is him wearing a more traditional Sikh, Punjabi, the star. And while it's not uncommon in India for certain Hindus to wear a type of turban or wear it on different occasions, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the time, if you see someone in a turban or the star that looks, looks like this, they're six. Tomato, tomato. I know for many here, they still don't see the big deal, but there's something noteworthy here. The turban style and color worn by Hatesh is one that is commonly tied by devout six. Not only that, he did a god awful job of tying it. He had it looking more like a prop that was quickly put together for an audition in a Wes Anderson film than a devout observee of any kind. A deep dive into the sewage pit that is Mr. Bansal's socials also show he's never seemingly been one to rock at the start in his day to day Instagram modeling career. Not to mention that it seems weird that Hatesh's mugshot has him wearing anything at all, since in the case of most Sikhs, the turban is often removed as a sign of respect. So why was uh, Bansal pictured wearing one here? As one Redditor pointed out, Bansal's look was memeish. He oddly resembled a character from a logo of a popular local Indian food joint. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm doing that thing where I just keep posing more questions without offering any of my own hints for a second. But I believe Baz succinctly covers the issue that's happening here. Hatesh, a common Hindu name, oddly dons a loose turban for his mugshot in a manner that shows he's never kept one before. Many Sikhs have suggested that this has been done by the accused to defame the community's image. Authorities believe a spate of extortions targeting Sikhs in Canada are being organized in many cases from India, including by self-proclaimed Indian and Hindu nationalist gangster Lawrence Bishnoi. Bishnoi? Bishno. <laughs> Bishnoi. The timing of this whole thing with the optics is very interesting also, with the second coming of the farmers' protests and all in India. The original protest garnered so much support across the world that it left Modi and his nationalist BJP looking like absolute goofs on the international stage. Low-key, I can't help but wonder if there's some kind of connection here to preemptively defame not only Punjabi farmers, but the images of Sikhs in Canada ahead of all this with these kind of plants. But that would be pretty conspiratorial of me, and I couldn't imagine a country like India that while openly assassinating political descendants abroad would stoop to such lows. Not that India. A country so petty that it got mad at a local culture show for highlighting the Punjabi culture. They would never do that. Would it? As always, if you made it this far in this video, feel free to drop me a comment letting me know what you guys think of all this. Am I really pulling some mental gymnastics here? Or does it feel a bit strange to y'all also? Drop a like for the algo, and if you're into these kind of ramblings, consider subscribing. Till the next one, peace!